All right, so we got me and Papa loaded up. We're rolling out for the car show, Raymond, Mississippi. So let's go. Go. Unfortunately, we're 23. It's about all you can take, ain't it? <laughs> I'm Rick Holyfield. I have a 53 Ford F100 Gen 3 Coyote 3.0 Whipple Supercharger 10 speed transmission 331 gear. So, how did you come to uh, be in love with these old Fords? I had a neighbor when I was a kid that had one, and, and this just came up. And it's just what I ended up with. I like all cars. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I'm not. I'm not one way or the other on liking cars. And, uh, so, uh, how long did it take you to build the car? Um, we've been working on it about five years. 
Is there anything else interesting you can tell me about the car? Um, or the truck? He's got about 850 horsepower, 730 to the wheel. It's definitely a fun little ride. Yeah, you told me you drove it over here in the rain. How did, uh, how'd that go with that well, kind of horsepower? It went slow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you got a beautiful truck. I appreciate you talking with me. I sure appreciate it. Thank you. It's your little Datsun. It's your little Datsun. Yes, sir. You don't see Datsuns very often. My son would be jealous of this. Oh. No, no. I like it just the way it sits. 81, 82? 83. I know I was close. In 1977, when they first came out, they were going to put a rank of rotary engine in it. And then at the last minute, uh, they got cold feet. All right, so who are you and what are we doing today? Hi, we are Diana and John Cornett. We're coffee roasters. Our company is called Camper Van Coffee. So we're out here today at a car show at Raymond, Mississippi with our 1976 VW bus camper mobile. And uh, we're, we're roasting coffee. We have hot, cold brew, and uh, it's a really nice crowd today. We're, we're kind of dodging some weather, but everyone's out here having a good time. We're out here serving coffee. So. So I understand that you have actually used the van for camping? Yes, that's actually why we originally got the van. Uh, we love camping and traveling. We, we collect stickers of all the places we go and it's just been the great, greatest adventure mobile. And then it became the inspiration behind our coffee company, Camper Van Coffee as well. So, so where, um, where have yeah. you been in the van? Farthest trip we've ever done was North Carolina. We went up to the mountains and we did the Blue Ridge Parkway, Asheville, Cherokee. Um, that was our farthest trip. We made it. It was a great, great trip. We did North Georgia. We've done Pensacola. We camped right on the beach. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. I've done all those places <laughs> that you're talking about. Last weekend, I was. we went through North Georgia. I was in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh. And uh, I have, did, did you camp at uh, Fort Pickens? We are going there we, in October. Okay. Fort Pickens is one of our favorite go-tos. Yeah. Yes, so. good. Well, That's you good have a know. wonderful van, and I appreciate you sharing it with me. So. Thank you. This is when Mercedes was great. Sorry? This is when Mercedes was great. Not so much anymore. <laughs>
my name's Clark Stewart. I'm from Raymond, Mississippi. And uh, I brought my 1976 Toyota FJ40. It, uh, it just got completed after almost four years. And uh, in fact, we, uh, Mr. Ronnie Trawick finished it up and he drove it the first four miles that's been driven in a, in a couple of years. So we're happy to be here. So how long have you had it? Almost, we got this vehicle out of Texas, uh, September of 2018. We found one that was in good shape and then began the restoration process. Uh, the first guy uh, that started it and went and found the vehicle was uh, Mr. Mark Atkinson. And uh, as I said, he had it for two and a half years or three years. And then Ronnie Trawick, a friend of mine, finished it up over the past several months. You got a good looking vehicle. Uh, is there anything special you can tell us about it or is it all stock? Is it all stock? It, it's all pretty much stock, which is the way that uh, I wanted it. Years ago, I was at a dove hunt and uh, now I'm the older gentleman, but I saw an older gentleman pull up in a mustard yellow uh, FJ40. And I fell in love with it and the design at that time. And then I was fortunate enough to go to Africa in 2001. And, uh, and we rode around mostly in Land Cruiser uh, pickups, which they don't have here in the United States. And so I just fell in love with the whole, whole theme of the FJ4 and how it looked and the whole, uh, the Africa experience did a lot for me. So it's something I wanted to do uh, in my latter years. I'm not so much latter, but I'm getting there. So, uh, but that's, that's why we started the project. Well, I appreciate you sharing it with me. You've got a beautiful vehicle. Thank you so much. Still dodging the raindrops. Good. How you making it, Carl? <laughs> Nineteen seventy six Gremlin X, running 350 Chevrolet with tunnel ram and two fours. It's a seven hundred R overdrive automatic in it. It's got a 8.8 .8 forward rear end on it with 355 gear. Uh, it, everything on its original except the power train. It still got the original interior and everything in it. Did you ever drag race it or are you I, just no, driving around? No drag racing. I'll smoke the tires down on it, but I don't drag race. <laughs> I'd like to get out and have a little fun with it. You, it's the only one in Vicksburg. And uh, what kind of engine that came in it originally? A uh, little six under. What was you telling me about that six-cylinder now? Six-cylinder running in a Jeep over in Vicksburg right now. <laughs> and we took it out and put it in a Jeep. So it lives on. Yes, sir. But uh, I bought the car. It was already had the V8 in it, but I've done the motor, tram, the transmission, the rear end, the exhaust, the paint job. Yeah, I, I finished the build, more or less. It's a, it's a work in progress. There's always something to do on it. Well, you don't see these old gremlins very often. No, sir. They rare. Well, I appreciate you talking with me. Yes, sir.
I appreciate it. You know guys, sometimes you have some really super special standout vehicles and sometimes you walk by some and you don't think there's nothing special about them. Sometimes it's the story. So let me get you the story on this old Ford truck. We're trying to dodge the range drops. <laughs> My name is Jeremy Powell. Uh, this is a 1992 Ford F-150. Uh, this truck belonged to my wife's grandfather and uh, John Pierce. and. When, before John passed away, he uh, sold it to my father-in-law for a dollar. And uh, Johnny Pierce ended up with it. And my son, Cole Pierce, uh, when he was three years old, he got his hand stuck in this truck. And he actually wrote his name on the roof of that truck with a screwdriver when he, when he was five. And uh, Cole ended up with it. And we, for his graduation present from... Uh, high school I restored the truck and um, it's all original except for the flag underneath the hood and that is a, a tribute to my father-in-law and grandfather-in-law they both served uh, one served in World War II and one served in Vietnam and uh, all, all four of us believe it or not has actually left a mark on this truck and I didn't fix them uh, the grandfather um, had a pallet of sod in the back of the truck and slid there, forward and the dented cab, the cab right there, and then my father-in-law bent the bumper and then <laughs> I bent the bumper loading a four-wheeler up and then my, my son when he was three years old he was playing with the Hot Wheel cars and it, on running up and down the bed and he uh, dropped it down in there in one of the bed holes and uh, his hand he stuck his hand down in there a little bit too many times and his hand uh, got stuck and we had to call and get the Jaws of Life to come out and get his hand out of the hole. Uh, we did that uh, and 
I left those four dents because this is a fourth generation one on it, you know. Uh, my son, my son actually bought the truck uh, from my father-in-law for two dollars. He said he didn't make a profit on it, <laughs> so uh, he did a. Uh, so he did make a profit on it, and uh, but it's all original, um, original colors. We did the, uh, we did detrim it because I, I don't like that those door trim and whatnot on it. But all of all in all, it is the original color and the original way it was. Uh, since 1992 so it's got a 5.0 with a aod transmission it's a long wheelbase um it's just a regular old truck everyday truck and you know um uh, it does wonderful but the shows. beauty of this truck though is like you said it's four generation and it's one owner and it's got a lot of love it does so it does it has a lot of love uh blood sweat and tears put it back together uh I would come up at, after hours at work and uh, at the body shop and put it back together. And I spent a many nights trying to get it back together right before graduation. I finished it a week before graduation high school. And uh, now, um, and he, dro he drove it, he loves it. He is, he is tickled to death, can't wait to drive it, but he's on vacation this week, so that's why he's not in it. So I'll win his trophy. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you talking to me and telling me the story. I appreciate you, sir. That's a 327. It's out of a 65 Corvette. everybody that's gonna wrap us up here to friends of raymond car show in raymond mississippi so until i can get out a new video why don't you go watch another one coming on the screen right now